So whether you want to call it lockdown, shutdown, quarantine, stay at home order, it's not going to leave anytime soon. So let me take it as an opportunity to get absolutely shredded. So what we'll be doing is tracking the amount of push-ups someone can do in one rep. We'll be doing this using artificial intelligence. Now we could take this to the next step by taking, let's say, reps of dumbbell curls, but I figured that actually might be overkill for the model that we're using. You see, there's already things like OpenCV, Open Computer Vision, where you can actually use datasets made from Google themselves to track where the positions on your arm is. And to do this is overly easy. You can see in this GitHub repository that you're already able to track how many reps you do. And I figured let me actually learn something using artificial intelligence. So the way we go about doing push-ups is very different to the traditional model. I found one other person that was doing something similar where they tracked the amount of distance between your chest and the ground to classify it as a push-up or not. But that's not really what I wanted to do. You see, the way AI works is by tracking the previous training data that you give it. So believe it or not, it sounds like magic, but it's what we call the black box. Now this is just a theory of giving your neural network all the inputs, but not really understanding the output. We know exactly what we're putting into it. I'm able to give a neural network the video of me doing a push-up, which is very hard for me, and then labeling when I actually complete it. From there, it'll do its magic AI thing to actually get the output and be able to label each movement that I do, whether a push-up or not. And from there, we can just add a number to it. So now comes time to show you guys the code. This isn't my favorite part about the YouTube videos because it's kind of dull. So I'll just give a brief overview, but essentially we're gonna start off by just running all the blocks. Now, um, just as a quick side note, I found out you can actually run .ipymbs in VS Code. That's pretty cool, just a tidbit. But we're gonna start off by just importing everything we need and kind of setting the stepping stones for how we're gonna train this. From there, we're gonna define all our models with Keras, just kind of what size it'll be and setting the array sizes. From there, we'll actually train the epochs and load the model. From here, we're gonna run the code. What we're doing here is importing CV2. This is kind of just what we're doing to handle the videos. We're gonna use cap for the input of the video. In the push-up video, I actually did five diamond push-ups and five, I guess, strict military ones. I'm not the strongest guy, okay. And the output will be at output underscore count four. Four is just an arbitrary number. This block of code will just say if we're pushing up or down, I've set it so on each time we go up, it counts as one, which you'll see in the final count. From there, we're gonna actually draw into saying repetitions, I guess, which is in font, scale, etc. So now we're just gonna wait for it to finish running and see the output. After a couple minutes, the model did finish running and now you can see me struggling to do even just one push up. Now you can see in the left, we have repetitions equals, and then every time I go up, it increases by one. This is in the last part of the code that I showed of just font, text, etc. So now that this project is over, I can actually say that maybe this wasn't the best way of doing it. I feel like maybe it would have been better to do something like image segmentation or even the post tracking that Google made. I might actually do my next project in that. It's one in the morning, I'm tired. I guess you're just gonna have to subscribe to see what my next video is because I think I'm gonna do something a bit more complicated next time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this quick little video on my push-up counter because you know, you gotta get Bye.